It is now time for the Ask an Expert segment, thanks to Lightforce and Black Widow. So Danny, who has sent in a question and what question is it for Ask an Expert this week? This week's entry comes from Jenny and Justin Binney, and they would like to know, how can you make sure that your dual battery system is working correctly before you go away with the fridge and find out that it isn't working correctly? Jenny and Justin, typical Queenslanders, eh? Yep. All right, Danny, I think if it's 12 volt related, it has got to be sent over to Alan Johnson from Piranha Off-Road. What we've got is a digital volts gauge over here, which is reading the voltage in the main battery. This gadget over here is a battery protector, a Piranha DBM4. That's the voltage that we have currently in the auxiliary battery, which means it's well and truly within normal parameters. It should be somewhere between 12 and a half, 12.8. To check that the system is isolating, which is the first parameter we want to check, what we're going to do, we're going to start the engine, and what we'll see is after a few secs, the voltage here will start coming up. When we start, nothing will happen here until after the oscillator clicks in, that will start charging. So off we go. 12.1 it went down to, the voltage is 12.6, 12.7, it's coming up, coming up. A little bit of revs, 14.2, that is exactly what we wanted. At that voltage, we know the alternator is now charging correctly and we know that the auxiliary battery is charging correctly. The second thing we can also check to make sure that everything's working correctly is that the fridge is plugged in correctly via a good quality plug and socket and also ensure that there is adequate voltage at the back of the socket. To check that, I just use an old headlight or an old driving light. I plug it into my fridge socket, which is actually going to load test the entire wiring system all the way through so I can make sure everything's working. I'll also show you, if you haven't got this instrumentation, which is not essential, how you can use a garden variety standard multimeter to work out what's going on. If you look at the voltage of the main battery, we're sitting at 12.61, which indicates that that battery just has been charged nicely. Now we're going to go over and we're going to check the voltage on the auxiliary battery. Even though the fridge is running, it should be reading similar. 12.63, which indicates we have a very, very nicely charged auxiliary battery. Now, for some reason, this battery wasn't sitting at this sort of voltage. That would indicate that we have probably a problem with the auxiliary battery not being charged or a problem in the battery itself. We will fire the car up and we'll just see what happens here. OK, off you go. As soon as the isolator cuts in, Voltage starts coming up. Beautiful, we're coming up. So that's charging nicely. And this one over here, 13.9. So everything's charging as it should. So basically that what showed us is that the system is actually charging correctly. The last part of it would be, as I said, the load test. And if that's all right, you should have a wonderful cold beer and a nice fresh meat and unmelted margarine. And what's more, a terrific trip. Thank you very much.